want to get gold, platinum, and Damascus in the fastest way possible, not to waste your time? Well, you've come to the right place. I'll make it all come true. Ooh. Hey, it's me, Iceberg here, back again with another brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. As you can tell from the intro and the title, we're going to be discussing how you can get gold, platinum, and Damascus the fastest in the game. Also, this video is sponsored by Call of Duty Mobile. Thanks for sponsoring today's video card. If you want to check them out, the link is down in the description below. Oi, make sure to subscribe so that we can take over my country's population in subscribers. All right, so a lot of you guys want to get these brand new gun skins. The best ones in the game. The gold, the platinum, the Damascus. If you don't know, in order to get platinum, you need to get all guns gold in the specific category or gun type. For example, once you get all the assault rifles gold, your assault rifles will unlock the platinum camo. Once you get every gun gold, however, you will unlock Damascus, which is kind of insane. Damascus is going to take everyone a long time to get. Probably, I would say a month or over a month at least to get Damascus, unless you play every single day, all day. And I know some of y'all play every single day, all day. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about what you don't want to do in order to get these camos fast. You do not want to be playing ranked because you get less kills in ranked than in normal public match. In order to get as many kills as fast as possible, you're going to be wanting to play in the public match game modes. One such game mode that is out currently is Shipment 24-7. This is a fantastic game mode in order to get camos fast because it has a rapid fire mode inside of it and once you get that you get kills so so quickly however there is a slight problem with shipment it's random mode you can't pick the mode that you want to play in shipment 24 7 so you won't get stuff like the rapid fire game mode hard point kill confirmed all of the time because it's just random sometimes you might get freaking team deathmatch and that's just i mean that really does just suck. I mean, you're fighting for what? 50 kills, 40 kills or whatever? Nobody wants to go into a match to only be able to get a max of 40 kills. Especially if your teammates are getting kills as well, you're probably only gonna get 20 or maybe even 30 if you're playing bots. So I have a solution for you. Instead of playing this mode, which is good, don't get me wrong, if you want to just play it, go to core, then click hard point. Now you may be thinking, Ferg, why not domination? Domination lasts longer. Hey, you're right, but you're actually wrong. Wrong. You see, if you play public match, like I said, there's bots in it. If you find a bot lobby, two bots will stay in the hard point, which will stop the timer of the game going down. They won't kill each other for a long period of time because they are bad in bots, and you'll be able to get a lot more kills per game than what you would be able to get inside of Domination because bots capture Domination flags far faster than the timer goes down in a hard point. Not only can you get hardpoint as a specific game mode however you can go to maps and a lot of people don't know this but shipment is actually in map selection already so you can select shipment hardpoint and play it as much as you want instead of playing all of those random modes which is the reason why i don't think shipment 24 7 is the best thing to do but it's definitely fun if you want to play different modes and kind of goof off with your friends however if you're really trying to go try hard the mode you want to be playing is definitely shipment hardpoint trust me bots are everywhere also, a lot of people seem to think that if you get a long range headshot, it will only count as a long shot or a headshot. That's not true. If you get a long shot headshot, you actually get both medals onto your weapon, which is great. That also means if you get a kill, a long shot headshot and have five attachments on your gun, they all count towards getting a camo for your weapon, which is why you want to be going for headshots all of the time. You never want to be shooting at people's bodies anymore if you're going for those gold, platinum, or Damascus camos. If you already have your gun unlocked with the XP cards that you had left over, use the five attachments first once you get all the kills you need to with those, then switch to the zero attachments. You'll get much more used to the weapon this way and you won't feel like it's unusable or bad because you'll already be used to it. Then by the time you put on no attachments, you'll be ready to use it, be comfortable with it and do better. This is my personal favorite camo. It's not gold, platinum or Damascus. I don't know why, but I just love the blue and white combo. Also, if you're going for long shots, I highly suggest you play crossfire hardpoint. And if you find that you're going up against too many real 
people, which is making it harder for you to get things like the long shots or the headshots, then definitely switch over to high rise hardpoint because nobody's doing it in high rise. Everyone's on crossfire. Unfortunately, when this video comes out, there will probably be people in both. So do it quick, dude. I just like to give a quick public service announcement. If you use VTOL, Stealth Chopper, your operators, and or Molotovs inside of shipment, the community hates you. Not dislike, they hate you. We're all trying to get gold camos, okay? On our favorite weapons. Stop making people's lives miserable by using those things. Get some help. Let's help each other out. Let's get the camos together. Either way, that's going to wrap up this short video. Make sure to live your life with purpose and let's roll the outro. Bye.